Okay, we're going to deconstruct exactly how Baring's information was doxed. Okay, in this video, we are going after the causation, the exact circumstances that caused Baring's information to be doxed. Okay, we're going to start this timeline five years ago when Pat, a.k.a. Baring, created a music channel to play his music. I had a boy and girl, then a quiet strip of Riverside Swampland, then began their master plan with Robert and Lee and still crawling around. And so it goes, he poured his own concrete pillars that carried his son. On this YouTube music channel, he played his same style of music, showed his likeness, and the name of his channel was his full name. Now fast forward about four years and Pat opens up his Bering Persona YouTube channel. Now at first there was nothing to connect the Bering channel with the music channel, but over time more information was added to the Bering channel. The first thing that was added to the Bering channel was his music. However, with no face and no name, there wasn't enough to connect the two channels. The next bit of information that was added to Bering's channel was his first name. When bumbling idiot Bindu Reddy revealed his first name in an interview. And the third thing that was added to the Bering channel was the face reveal, where he went on the Patrick channel and did a face reveal as promised after 50,000 people subbed this channel. So now we know that the Bering channel was created by a person named Patrick who plays a distinct style of music and looks like this. So the music channel has the exact same person playing the exact same music, even the same songs, on a channel that has his full name in the title to the channel. So with 300,000 subscribers and quickly climbing, it was only a matter of time before someone stumbled across the music channel. Now when you visit the music channel, you can see right away that that is Bering playing the music on the music channel. There's no doubt about it, and anyone viewing the music channel will know this instantaneously. And judging by the comments on the music channel on or about December 1st, someone did catch on. Which brings us to Christy Winter's assertions about those comments in the comment section of the music videos. Because of promotions that Patrick of the channel Patrick and Baring had done for some of his music videos, his own fans ended up identifying Bering uh, a while ago. These screenshots were taken in the last two days, and the comments then were a week old. So Patrick had left that docs up on his channel since anywhere between December 4th and December 6th, and had not taken them down. So again, Winters is calling those comments on that comment section, quote, doxing by his own fans. This is not doxing. Simply visiting the website is what does the doxing. It's completely obvious. Any comments in the comments section are simply stating the very obvious. So winners claim that the comments in the comment section were doxing are wrong, 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 you're wrong, you're wrong. Now, regarding the who's and how's of stumbling across this website and finding this information and how it got spread out, we may never know. But one thing's for certain, Bering's enemies were being nefarious. They were spreading the information around, and that's been proven. They were, quote, sharing it around in chats. What I said in that conversation was they were sharing around private info. They were publicly tweeting out Bering's last name, and Christy Winters was publicly sharing the link to the Encyclopedia Dramatica website with the damning information, the false damning information, and the docs. So in conclusion, we have too much information being revealed about Bering, the inevitable stumbling upon of the music website, and the information being revealed and the feminists acting like the assholes we knew they would act like when they got the information.